there are three successful experiments I did in 2021 that will help me to build my boats next year. The first one is using Coplus to make a large living hinge to fold up my modular boat. The second experiment is the ability to roll the Coplus into a rounded pocket and make a very strong gunnel. The third experiment is for me to use Gorilla tape to cover up the foam block instead of using Pullman's fiberglass. This helped me to build the boat faster and also slightly lighter. In this video, I will go into details on how I using this method to build the outrigger for my boat. I used the aluminum tubing for the outriggers. I spent $5 and bought a pair of crutches from the Goodwill store. I cut it up and also moved the handle to the right place. I recycled small pieces of foam for my other project. I cleaned the surface of the foam without doing any more surface preparation. I used spray foam to bond the pieces together to form a 4 feet long pontoon. I used nails to keep the layers of foam aligned. The bonding is very strong and the process is fast when compared with using other kind of glues. I used the two aluminum angles to create a guide to trim off the uneven edges of the pontoon. I used the nails to temporarily keeping the aluminum angles in place. I bought the hot wire at eBay and I used a PVC pipe to make a cutter. With the aluminum guys, the cut is very clean. Similarly, I used the aluminum angles to guide the angle cut at the front and the rear of the pontoon, and the result is great. I also have very good control of the final dimensions of the pontoons. I may recycle the foam for other projects, therefore I wrap it with a plastic film to protect the foam. I cut a piece of coral to cover the top of the pontoon to protect the foam just in case I may step on it. This will also add longitudinal strength to the pontoon. I used heat to fuse and seal the ends of the coplus to prevent water from getting into the inner channels of the coplus. I shaped the coplus into a cover and then I wrapped the center of the pontoon with some more coplus to help to spread the force from the arms of the outriggers onto the pontoons. I secured the pontoons to the ends of the crutches with two pieces of bungee cords, and this works really well. I covered the exposed foam surface with the 2.88 inches wide Gorilla tape. It is not as doable as Pullman's fiberglass but it makes the build process so much faster. I will be using this technique to build my next boat. If you find this video interesting, please give me a like. Be sure to support me by subscribing to this channel and you will be notified for my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.